What's going on everyone? Dots Gaming from DotsGaming.com here and on behalf of Nemesis Esports, I am bringing you guys a Magicka Sorcerer PvP build for the Elder Scrolls Online Markarth patch and this is my Magister build. So if you are familiar with my website DotsGaming.com, you will have seen this build on the website. It is the Magister PvP build for my site and it has been a build that I have played for a couple of patches now and really have not made that many changes to it as it has been working very consistently well for a while while and that does not seem to have changed at all going into the Markarth patch. Now if you are looking for a proc based build a set that or a build that uses proc sets you will need to look elsewhere. I am not a huge fan of running a lot of proc sets. I typically will run one or none and on my Magsork I personally don't run any so if you guys are looking for a max work proc build, you will need to look elsewhere. But if you are looking for a build that doesn't use proc sets, then this is going to be the build for you. I've been using this build, like I said, for a number of patches now, and it has been performing fantastically. I have had no problems or issues with it. It's got good damage, good sustain, good mobility. It's just really well-rounded and has been one of my favorite builds of my max work for a while. But as I've always said in my build videos in the past on my channel this is just what i like what i use and what works for me if you guys would like to change something else or use something else you can feel free to go ahead and do so but starting off with our gear we are using two pieces of engine guardian engine guardian gives you a line of health recovery and when you use an ability you have a 25 percent chance <clears throat> excuse me to summon a dwemer automaton that restores 531 stamina magica or 2200 health to you every half a second for six seconds and this can occur once every 10 seconds this is fantastic for not only padding your resources if it does proc for stamina or magica but it also can give you a really nice heal over time to help you in a meta where healing is particularly bad now the good thing about engine guardian in regards to mag is that basically everything that we get from this we can use in some way if we get health we will be getting healed which we don't have to put as much of our resources into actually healing ourselves as the engine guardian will do it if we get magica that is fantastic we are getting sustain and if we are getting stamina back it means that we can just use dark conversion more to turn it into magica and health if we need it so engine guardian also can body block a bit so it's just something that's really really good for mag Sork. And it's a set that I've been using for a while. Another set that I am using still is Seducer. Seducer gives two lines of magic recovery, a line of maximum magic, and it reduces the cost of all of our magic abilities by 10%. This is my sustain set for the build. It is a very strong set, giving us a ton of effective magic recovery by making our skills very, very cheap, which just allows us to push our damage even higher. In terms of our damage set, though, we are running Crafty Elfique. Since we are playing a Mag Sork and we want to rely pretty heavily on our shields, we run Crafty Elfique for basically just five straight lines of maximum Magicka. So it's a fantastic set to not only pad our damage as Magicka does increase your damage, but it also gives us big defensive bonuses by giving our shield sizes, uh, by giving our shields a much larger size. In terms of our traits, though, and all that stuff, we are using. Uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces of impen and two pieces of well fitted. I actually really like having a couple of well fitted pieces on my mag store because I do find that I do like to dodge roll on him quite a bit. So I like to run two to three pieces of well fitted. Um, I am running one triglyph and the rest are maximum magica. And we are running one medium, one heavy, and five pieces of life for maximum undaunted passives. We also have. Uh, two spell damage and one magic recovery on our jewelry with triple arcane and we are running an infused inferno staff on the front bar with a shock glyph and we are running a defending restoration staff on the back bar with a restore magica glyph this gear this gear setup is is a relatively straightforward setup not overly complex but the simplicity is kind of the beauty of it and it works really really well and is not something I think you would have to overly worry about getting too heavily buffed or nerfed. It's been a really consistent setup for me for a number of patches now, and uh, if you've run this build in the past, hopefully it has worked well for you as well. But going into our skill loadout, for our first skill, we are using Crushing Shock. Crushing Shock is my spam bull of choice. Uh, I don't really like Elemental Weapon. If you want to use Elemental Weapon here, you can. I personally find it clunky to use myself. I also like the ability to interrupt people who are snipe spamming. I find that very entertaining. And so we're able to deal Flame, Frost, and Shock damage. This also allows us to proc the Flame and Frost status effect, possibly, whenever we go through our spammable. Um, just a really, really good skill and is my spam bull of choice. We are, of course, running Crystal Frags as one of our big damage procs. Um, when you 
Cast a magic ability of a 35% chance to cause your next crystal frags to be instant. Deal 66% more damage, cause 50% less magicka. You never really want to hard cast this. You always want to use this when it procs. We are also using Elemental Drain to give us 6k additional penetration and the minor magicka steal. I love running this on my magicka PvP builds just because it gives a crap load of damage from the penetration but we also get a ton of healing from the minor magic of steel which gives us a lot more sustain and allows us to stay offensive longer we are running haunting curse which is another damage proc that can occur so basically you will deal magic damage after three and a half seconds and then about eight and a half seconds later an additional blast of magic damage will be done but you can only have one haunting curse active at a time so basically our goal combo for us is to basically have haunting curse on our target we are going to hit shooting star to have that come down and then hit crystal frags as well so that theoretically the shooting star the haunted curse and the crystal frag should all hit at the same time you also go in with a streak on that and you can make sure that your opponent is stunned and take some additional damage and the stun cannot be blocked so streak is going to be the fifth skill on that front bar it is our mobility skill it is our primary cc um, it is just a fantastic skill. It makes it so that Maxark does not need to run any snare or mobilization immunity. So it allow it kind of takes up the role of multiple skills, stun, movement. It's just a fantastic skill. And I personally like having it on my front bar when I play Maxork. And then, like I said, I do run Shooting Star on my front bar. Really, really like it. I feel like it combos really well with just the way that Mag Sork works. You have the Shooting Star into Crystal Frags. It deals a crap ton of damage. Also, when the Curse procs, it just allows you to have three big damage spikes hit all at the same time and allow you to really burst your opponent down. On our back bar, we are, of course, running the the Shield Package of he of uh, Hardened Ward and Dampened Magic. This is just a pretty stereotypical Shield setup for Mag Sork, especially in a patch where heals are absolutely terrible. Running the Double Shield stack, I feel, is very beneficial. But as a primary heal, though, I do use rapid regen i personally don't feel i need anything else between rapid regen and dark conversion i know a lot of people in the past have kind of given me grief for not running crit surge but i personally don't feel i need it uh rapid regeneration and dark conversion for me are more than enough especially when you combine it with the engine guardian healing uh we also do have dark conversion which converts stam into health and magic instantly and additional magic over 20 seconds to not only give us another heal but give us some magic sustain and then i am running boundless storm for the major resolve uh, as well as a way to get major expedition it deals shock damage to anybody that's near us and it looks really really cool so i do run that as my armor buff on the back bar we also are running life giver as our primary defensive ultimate absolutely love running life giver on a magic sorcerer it just gives us a ton of defensive capability and in a patch where damage is insanely high having something like this is really really good um, i do also have these three skills morphed i have regen obviously to rapid regen we have uh, blessing of protection to combat prayer to not only give us the heal but give us minor berserk and resolve for eight seconds when we do use life giver to increase our damage and resistance and then we also get healing ward for the heal and the shield because all of the three of these will get casted whenever we use that life giver now in terms of our other things we are playing a high elf i really do like high elf for our uh mag Sork. Uh, gives us a spell recharge to give us more stamina, which is good because we do run, like I said, dark conversion. So it allows us to get more dark conversions off. Uh, we get a big boost to our maximum magicka and we get an increase to spell damage. Now, if you do, for example, want to run Breton, you could run a different set besides uh, Seducer. You can run a more offensive set, but because I am running the high elf, I do choose to run um, Seducer. Uh, we also run the Mage Mundus for the increase to our maximum magicka. Again, we are a Mag Sork, so it plays perfectly into our... Magicka stack, and then we run the view with Sugar Skulls food for the prime, the, you know, the best tri staff food in the game, also with the additional health recovery, which is extremely helpful. In terms of our stats, we're looking at 46k maximum Magicka, 24k maximum health, 16k max stam with 1360 Magicka recovery, with uh, tw uh, 2057 spell damage, 23% spell crit. That does go up though when we use our potions. We have 11k spell resist with 9.5k physical resist and 2800 crit resist. In terms of potions, though, I do use. Uh, spell power potions so giving us magic and major intellect we get major sorcery and major prophecy uh, increasing spell damage and critical so when we actually do pop this potion we do go up to about 2500 spell damage and 35 percent crit so very very good potion to use for the build that is where we are getting our major sorcery from so that we do not have to get it off of our skills 
In terms of champion points, I am running 23 into Blessed, 48 into Elfborn, 75 into Elemental Expert, 43 into Spell Erosion, and 81 into Master at Arms, 66 into Ironclad, 30 into Resistant, 48 into Thick Skin, 43 into Hardy and Elemental Defender, and 40 into Bastion. We have 61 into Warlord, 75 into Arcanist, 49 into Tenacity for those really thick resto heavies. We also have 72 into Tumbling, and then 13 into Shadow Ward. In terms of a basic rotation, I kind of went over it a little bit. Uh, earlier when I was discussing the uh, front bar, but the front bar rotation is pretty straightforward. You want to maintain Elemental Drain and Haunting Curse on your opponent at all times, and you basically just want to Light Attack Weave with Crushing Shock until you get Crystal Frags to proc, and then basically your goal is to just hit Shooting Star, streak through your opponent, turn around, and shoot out the Crystal Frags. You will be getting the Shooting Star, the Streak, the Frag, and the Curse to all basically land at once and just blow your opponent up for a huge burst of damage. Defensively, you want to make sure that you always do maintain uh, Boundless Storm to make sure that you are as tanky as possible. And when you do want to kite, you want to just apply both of your shields, you want to underlay a heal, and then just streak away. You know, be sure to use that streak mobility to your advantage. The Dwarven Spear is pretty quick, so he should catch up to you pretty fast. And, uh, yeah, the build is really straightforward to play. It's one of the things that I like about the Max Orc very, very much. Build's pretty straightforward. I think the biggest thing that I'd say that new players just need to get used to and really need to get a handle on quickly is you need to basically rotate your shields kind of like their buffs. If your shields are down, you can take a really, really big smack of damage when you don't expect it. Um, so it is really important to make sure that you do maintain those shields on yourself as often as possible if you do feel that you are going to be, uh, in the fray and taking damage. Because if those shields drop, especially this patch, damage is really, really high. You will drop like a sack of bricks because the build does not have a crap load of resistances. So you want to make sure that you are maintaining those. But guys, I do think that is pretty much it. We hit our gear. We hit our skills. We hit our other things we hit stats and race we hit champion points we hit consumables i'm pretty sure we have everything covered but guys that is going to be it for me today for the magister build on behalf of nemesis esports be sure guys to subscribe to their channel to keep up to date with their gaming content they release a variety of gaming content so you can feel free to subscribe here for uh, all of that. If you do want to check out the written version of this, you can find a link hopefully in the description below. You can also check out my website, dotsgaming.com, for more Elder Scrolls Online builds and content. But thank you all so much for stopping by their video today. Very much appreciate it. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, and hopefully, like I said, if you guys do need any more ESO content, feel free to hit up dotsgaming.com. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.